Camp No See. Um, it is going to be a very busy weekend this week. Um, we are moving Rosie and also getting the new horse in the field, which I don't know. I think that'll be on a separate video. But today's Friday. Uh, Maddie's been back in work now for two weeks. She's actually doing really well. It's been nice weather for the last like two weeks. We're going onto the forest for the first time this whole year. The reason why we're mainly moving her is because school where we are, one, it has been down. The fencing has been down for the last two months now. She's actually been off on holiday for the last two months. She's about to turn four soon. I'm very, very excited to get her started properly. I teach her to lunge because she currently can't lunge. So we're gonna do a ton of groundwork once we've got the school. Um, but the thing with our school here is one, the fencing's been down for so long and two, it's quite far away. So you have to hack to the school and she's a baby. So she gets tired by the time she's there and then acts out because she's tired. So it's not really fair on her. So we want to bring her on and then eventually I will move her back in to Maddie and Dee. I know a lot of you guys are like, you have your own horse now. Why do you still ride them? Um, but you know, Rosie's only half mine. I have with my friend. So means I can ride a ton also having them and also they are like I look after them as much as I do with Rosie I don't know if you guys know the other horse who was in the field who used to be in the field has gone now so it is just Maddie D and Rosie like at this yard by ourselves so it's very nice to have all of them together but obviously now we're moving her I haven't actually updated about Rosie I've literally done one Boxing Day video since I've got her other since the uh, buying Rosie vlog so um, here's an update. Basically, all we've done is hack her. She's very sweet. She's um, getting more spirited now because she's fitter and she's happier. Here they are. One, two, three. Rosie, the Maddie. It was really frosty this morning, but it's kind of like that ankle breaking mud. <laughs> Maddie's running away before we've even got near her. How muddy are you? Hello. Come on then, pony. Shall we go? Yes, you look so pretty. Come on then. <whistles> Grooming Rosie first, aren't we? Get most of this mud out with this thing. Brilliant. Oh, there's even more. She's like, I think I'm not attached, so I can just walk off with my shoes. or something. Oh yeah. Well done. Good girl. Yeah. Okay. I sometimes wonder like if I don't get out of time quick enough they will just like like literally hit me take this up to the yard okay so we are now heading up to the yard oh we need to make up her bed yeah basically we're doing all this because tomorrow morning when you would normally go up um i'll be going to pick up the new pony we've got a laid on them <laughs> that's clever <laughs> Morning everyone. Uh, I look a mess. I'm gonna ignore it. Um, I'm about to go pick up the new pony. Basically, yeah, today we're gonna go pick her up and then later on I'm moving Rosie. Obviously she's on her mini holiday at the moment. Um, and she has been not been ridden for a month and a half, but even before that, she wasn't really doing much. Um, she's basically just been on a break before she starts to get fully broken in and fully put into work because she's almost four now. And we wanted her to enjoy, you know, 
being a young horse for a while but honestly second we arrive it's like please let me in please let me do something um she doesn't really she's just not the kind of horse that wants to be away from people she spent like a month and a half on her yard by herself before we got her um after she came over from ireland so it it was all a bit funny and she was very attached to people Have you got much more to do, Ella? Are you ready to load? There is feed in this bucket, but... <laughs> behind us in the trailer she loaded first time like literally just walked in perfectly so yeah she's an angel with loading it's literally just the farrier is the only thing we found that she struggles with um or did and now she's a lot better she seemed um a little bit unstable but she's three so she when we first traveled her she was a little bit like wobbly anyway but she was pretty good for a young horse i think um just get finding her feet in the trailer because it is a little bit more wobbly than the lorry <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I must eat out of the bucket while you pick out my feet. <laughs> Can I eat out of it? Maybe we should just let it get muddy. Yeah. There's no point doing that. Oh, bum in my face. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but there's a bucket. <laughs> I've also just got home and got my Lemure mask. The colour is so pretty. I think this is going to look amazing on Rosie. And then I've also ordered the Sage, but I've ordered it in the suede version because i liked it more yeah i'm they have these new hangers i'm guessing that like can hang them up which is pretty cool and then probably pop back up um at four and see her and check she's okay give her a feed um and then tomorrow we will pop back up again and we're going to take her on a little walk and stuff oh i've also got this arrived i'll show you this too um this is her new buckets look at that so we've got two small ones and one big one because she would not have tried in hand even like three weeks ago you would not have even been able to get her to do that <laughs> 